Welcome everyone to another beer class. I'm your host Carl Morandell and today we're going to be talking about the Helles Lager. So what is the Helles Lager? Well for starters, Hell in German means light. And I don't want you to think like Bud Light Milk, no, no, no. Germans don't do that. When we talk light, it only refers to the color, not the alcohol or the calorie intake. No, these are manly beers. Interesting enough about the Helles beer. We have an actual official birthday for it. March 21st of 1894 is the birthday of this beer. And it was a response to the very popular Czech Pilsen beer, or the Pils. Pils are, if you think, you know, the styles of Bud Light, Miller Light, Heineken, those are all an attempt at a Pilsen beer. But anyway, that style of beer grew very popular. And so people started to consume more of those beers than the Bavarian beers. So the Bavarians had to come up with a response to it, and this was their option. So as you can see from the coloring, it is a golden color beer. It's light in color, and it's a great tasting beer. So let's talk a little bit about it and the characteristics. One, you sometimes might see export attached to it, and that just means it's related to the alcohol content. To get the beers across Europe, what they would do is they would increase the alcohol content to make the beer uh, preserved better for the travel distances. Remember, we don't have the same logistics and equipment that we have nowadays. Uh, you might also sometimes see Urhel or Urtip attached to the label, and that's referring to it's kind of like domain of origin. It's trying to represent the authenticity of the beer at, in relation to the brewery. So let's talk about the taste now. So Helles, unlike the Pilsner, which is almost like a pure hops experience, a very bitter experience, like a, I don't know, this has got more malt into it, so it's more flavorful in the sense it's a mellow, mellow is the word. It's more of a mellow beer. You can really enjoy this. Uh, it's very pleasant. If you enjoy that malt hops combination, like in the Meritzen beers, this is a really great beer to also look into. Uh, now let's talk about something interesting about the taste itself. I want you to imagine you're with your friends. You're camping. And you're sitting back and you're talking with each other and just having a great time. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, a great giant grizzly bear just comes out, attacks you, mauls you, is eating up your organs while you're still alive. It's like Night of the Living Dead. And all of a sudden just starts to spit your bones out and you're, you know, just done. Not that kind of a beer. No, no, no. This beer is more of a, um, how do I say this? Amber, come here. Come here. Come here, girl. Amber, you know this works so much better in rehearsal. Amber, would you get up here? Amber. Ah. So we're having a little technical difficulties with the, um, there she is. Would you get up here? Come here. Amber. Amber, would you get... They hear me. So if you have a dog, you know that pet that you love, and sometimes you just want to strangle, especially like moments like now, that's just kind of a beer. It's that loyal pet friend. Um, it's a great beer in that sense. It's very enjoyable, very pleasant. You can consume this, and it's always reliable. It's like that dog... That's actually trained and does what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Think that. Yeah, not my dog. <laughs> Who couldn't give a damn. Uh, <laughs> oh, now you're coming up. Get up here. Come here. Come here. Amber. Come here. Would you get up? See, my dog is a little difficult. So anyway, is this that's the kind of beer that you're going to get out of this one. It's a wonderful tasting beer. Talk about the pairings a little bit in a sense. The um, if you want to know about pairings, from the color, it's going to go along the same lines as white wine foods. Um, things of that nature. It's not a very strong, overpowering beer, so you don't want a very intensely flavored beers. However, I've gotten some interesting emails from people about different things they've been pairing with. So I'd love to know what you like to mix your beers with. So... Send me an email, info at morandell.us, info at morandell, M-O-R-A-N-D-E-L-L, dot U-S, and just tell me kind of things that you've been experimenting with, whether it be, you know, the whole Girl Scout cookie craze or haagen cereal. I'd love to know what you've been doing with the beer pairings. Uh, maybe you might even try Pitbull, <laughs> as I very well shortly do. Uh, also, please visit our website, morandell.us. If you have any questions about beer, wine, spirits, shoot me an email. Questions about our products, you can always see on our website. 
And until next time, cheers!